We start tonight with a big story. Iowa has now seen its first case of pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or PMIS, according to the Polk County Pediatric Medical Collaborative. PMIS is an inflammatory disease in children that is thought to be connected to COVID-19. It's also believed to be some sort of combination of Kawasaki disease and toxic shock syndrome. Symptoms of this syndrome include rash, abdominal pain, and vomiting. All we know about this case is that it's in eastern Iowa and that it was initially reported on Friday despite Governor Reynolds saying there were no cases of it in her press conference that day. So what exactly does this disease entail? ABC's Marcy Gonzalez gives us first-hand accounts. This morning, intensifying concerns about that rare inflammatory syndrome in children linked to coronavirus. ABC News identifying at least 220 possible and confirmed cases in 20 states plus Washington, D.C. More than 100 of those cases in New York, where three children have died. And that 100 cases, I'll wager that's going to only go up and it's going to be much more widespread than anyone thinks. New York City now joining the CDC in issuing urgent alerts about what's known as pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome, telling doctors to watch for patients with a fever of at least 100.4 degrees that lasts at least 24 hours, along with inflammation and multiple organ involvement in children who've been infected with or exposed to COVID-19 within four weeks of the start of symptoms. Seven-year-old Levi's mother never knew he had COVID-19 until after his scare with this new syndrome. But the first grader coming down with a high persistent fever and vomiting. His doctor recognizing the warning signs, admitting him to the hospital where his symptoms evolved. He had the red eyes, the red lips, then it went to the stomach pains, and then all of a sudden he had pneumonia and had to be put on oxygen. And after a week at Beaumont Royal Oak Hospital in Michigan, Levi was discharged, his test coming back positive for COVID-19 antibodies. And these uh, children, for whatever reason, um, uh, they have uh, a, a response to the virus that is excessive, an immune response that is an overdrive. So once you recognize it quickly and intervene quickly, that you can reverse it quickly as well. Levi's mother grateful to have her little boy healthy and back at home this morning. If I would have waited any longer, could have been having a different discussion right now. Here in Iowa, as far as the coronavirus goes in kids, about 3% of cases are children between newborn and 17 years old. No Iowa kids, thankfully, though, have died from the virus.